I've known Kwesi Bekwe Emisatha, whom most people now refer to as Pakwesi Emisatha, since I was a child. We, we met in 1964 at Infants Swim School and uh, fortunately slept in the same house for seven years. So that's where the bond emerged. And then we went to the same university. What we see was a technocrat who was extremely diligent and demanded high performance from all the staff of the ministry. He loved family. I remember the day his late uncle, Reverend Hatchford, came to see him at the Bank of Ghana. He called me and with pride introduced his beloved uncle. He loved his numerous nephews and nieces, but above all, he loved his wife Matilda and his children Kwesi and Araba, and he loved his parents. His Excellency Dr. Pa Kwesi Bekwing and Mr. Arthur started professional life as a research assistant at the Institute of Statistical, Social and Economic Research between 1974 and 1975, but after obtaining a Master of Science degree, joined the Economics Department at the University of Ghana between 1977 and 1978 as a teaching assistant. He was promoted to assistant lecturer in 1979 and full lecturer from 1980 to 1988. He then joined the then PNDC and DC administration from 1983 to 1986 as a special assistant to the Secretary of Finance and Economic Planning, later Deputy Secretary for Finance until 1993. And from 1993, he continued serving as Deputy Minister for Finance until March 1997 when he resigned from public service and ventured into economic consultancy. He consulted for the World Bank in the Gambia, the Netherlands Government Education Project in Ghana, senior economist with the Sigma One Corporation in Ghana between 1998 and 2000, and then the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Denmark from 2001 to 2002. It is right to describe His Excellency Dr. Pakwisi Bekwi Emisa Arthur as an illustrious son of Ghana who contributed immeasurably to the development of Ghana in economics, banking, academia, and politics. Vice President Emisa Arthur demystified leadership. He was humble as the vice president and made leadership so accessible. He was approachable and down to earth. For this, the Initiatives of Change Foundation honors you as Africa's servant leader of the decade in recognition and appreciation of the positive impact you have made on society and the development of Ghana.